All right, welcome back. This is XCOM 2 and we are going to go into the Legacy DLC. Today we're uh, running the fourth um, of the scenarios. We're kind of in the middle, I think third or fourth mission now. My name is Saiken and this is going to be a blind playthrough. We need to destroy a siege cannon pretty far down the road here and extract our XCOM operatives. So. John Bradford and his team are ready to go. Um, just to remind myself, because it had, uh, has been a while, we have a Templar, two Rangers, and I think Lily, yeah. That was the melee brawl team. Very well. I will go. I have Let's get it going. I've spotted an alien patrol. We started to find the first alien patrol. Like right there. I am on the Moving board. closer. And let's try A good decision. to move as close as we can with everyone. Gosh, two rangers. Let's do this. That's going to be interesting. And Lily is going to be on the other side here. So let's see what the group is going to do. I'm pretty sure uh, we are in for a larger amount of enemies so we're looking at shield bearer uh, stun lancer advanced trooper and captain and we just got our um, our magnetic uh, rifles so if we were to claim more of them that'll be a start but I'm not sure about the idea of claymoring them yet We do have normal frag grenades, so they are definitely worse than our than our weapons. So I would say we're probably better off with using the weapons um, as damage. I'm asking myself uh, what the most efficient setup uh, would be. I mean, one grenade to start it off would probably would be a very good idea. I'm just questioning how we're going to start it off. They do have a lot of armor, but I fear we're we're probably going to find even more dangerous foes. Yeah, scanning protocol will not help us. So I'm almost inclined to to use um, an Overwatch setup here. We could get Bradford into position as well. And then we're basically cleaning up afterwards. Phantom, she's not going to break. Bradford is not having Phantom, so she's having Phantom, which means it's not going to break once everyone's revealed. Um, I would keep both of them as, as reactionary. Um, as reactionary soldiers and I am thinking about to just do a small overwatch trap like, like maybe with uh, Bradford taking a single shot and using our grenade the other alternative is to use the grenade plus uh, plus our um, proximity mine claymore that would kill all three of them and would trivialize the encounter so probably we're going to um, we're going to wait with that given that we deal damage to all three of these guys let me just think that through they are going to move the leader of the pack is going to move first which is going to be 
um, the captain here. Bradford's taking a shot. It's most likely going to hit. He can't crit on overwatch shots. That's a bit of an issue. Um, it's actually not even a bit of an issue. It's more of an issue than just a bit. Because not critting on overwatch means he's only going to deal 6 damage. And that means we have 4 injured and 0 killed enemies. Uh, can't do that. Changed my mind. Placing a weapon. I'm going to look into Claymore Explosion. Redford's overwatching. And this here is going to kill three. Wow, it's not even going to kill three. Interesting. Probably the right decision in hindsight. Gosh, as if I would have known it, right? Well, that's only five to six points of damage. Four to six uh, with her slashing ability. Eh, I think we can't even kill them. All right, that's one down. We only have momentum. He did not skill. Unfortunately, did not skill um, the the parry. I'd like to kill the heavy lancer. Come on. Very nice. Not revealed. Perfect. So I guess that's the only option that we do have. Yeah. Barely. Barely managed to kill them all. Interesting, by the way, we just had a hair trigger proc. We had had this weapon has a hair trigger, right? A more yeah. Shen probably could have rigged the cannon's power source to overload once they eventually tried to use it. In this case, we always had our faithful X4 to fall back on. Well, shit. That is exactly where I would have used uh, the Claymore. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. My life is in your hands. These are a couple of enemies. Uh, by, by the way, remote start would be such a nice ability now. No, we're not going to move in. You can effing forget about that. I can tell you what we're going to do.
Lily here. It's going to take a solid cover over there. And Eze, aka Zolomonis, is going to slowly move over here, so that we do have good, um, good shooting angles. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to run into eight. You can be, you can rest assured that this here is not going to happen. The aliens had taken so much from us. There was something satisfying about returning the favor to them directly. Maintaining this I'm area. On Come get them. Let's go, baby. I'm just waiting for the Overwatch trap. We had to figure this cannon of theirs was meant to be pointed at us. I mean, gosh, if we would trigger this the way it's currently presented. We would just be obliterated. Way, way more hit points that we can deal with. By the way, we can... Combat protocol. That's cute. Come on, no one's going to move. Seriously. If the Avenger had been flight worthy at the time, give me a break, guys. If we try to steal Advent's new toy rather than destroy it, would have made for a hell of a dead gun. Still, it's hard to describe how pretty it was when we finally lit that thing up. I mean, one of the things that we could do is we could take the high ground, which at least gives us an aim bonus. It's not a beautiful way to deal with the situation, but I can tell you we need to take every advantage that we can get. Because running in there, I, I mean, it's not even going to be a question whether or not we're going to die. It's just a question of, is there anyone going to survive uh, that, or are we just losing a couple of soldiers? So defeat against these eight is pretty much predetermined. Even if I had a Mimic Beacon, which I did not, On Overwatch. they are completely outclassing us. I am watching. I'm watching. Just from a hit point standpoint, I mean, look at look at that. Okay, we, we do have two Berserkers. So that's 48 hit points right there, right? Uh, we got a codex, um, which is 60 uh, hit points. Um, so if you if you add it up, plus it can part ways, so it makes it just more difficult to uh, to kill. We got a viper that's 68. Uh, we got 24 hit points um, from the additional um, advents. We're easily looking at 100 hit points, and I don't see. How we can deal that within two rounds most likely not going to happen but maybe i'm missing something if uh, you have a different idea let me know in the comment section i start regretting by the way to not engage them with the proximity uh, with the claymore because this here is um, very 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 good with a claymore uh, pull we wasted it on the first pack though and now we got to deal with it Yeah, we're probably no place for you to go oh. now. An alien patrol. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay. I was about to attack them. Now with uh, three, uh, with four more enemies, that's just even more beautiful. I'm not sure, maybe the game is telling me, Saiken, you should really sneak around and just take it from the other side. But I'm not that kind of guy. I want the confrontation, I want the fight, just not against 12. And by the way, what kind of a shitty patrol is this? Uh, they just moved up and are now clustering. I'll watch closely. My senses are always wondered what the game like. If they move, it's on. That's the worst patrol in the history of patrols. And I'm wondering why we don't have the remote start ability, because uh, this could have been the money shot. If if this car here explodes with the remote um, uh, remote start ability, that's 12 damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 120 damage. This guy here would be out of range. So yeah, 120 damage. 132 even if the last one would be in range. Okay, we can't just fight them. Need to wait until someone moves. Apparently the so-called patrol does not want to patrol anymore. So, here's the thing. Maybe we can just pull one of the pegs at a time. It re requires some some serious positioning though. Or we're triggering one of the pegs with Comet Protocol. That will be an option. I'd like to hit the robotic unit. By the way, beautiful, we have an all melee team and the enemy is just clustering up. That's exactly the kind of scenario that you want with an all melee team. Again, moving around. There we go, finally. Advent Mac. Let's pull that. Okay, we got ourselves company.
Just need to find uh, the right way of dealing with them now. Yeah, our shotguns are super precise on that uh, range. Beautiful. Can't even throw grenades down there. Even better. Let's finish the mech here. Okay. 93% shot. Missed, but we're also not revealed, so I guess it wasn't all bad. None of these positions here would. Well. This here would be the only position where we are at least getting a clear shot, somewhat clear shot. Could do that. Could also do that. We need to deal with the Advan, uh, with the Mac first. This here could be an option, far enough away from the Stun Lancer, but super far, almost too far for uh, for a shotgun. This here would be okay to kill the mech, but unfortunately we would be standing in open cover. This here actually would be a pretty good position, by thinking about it. You know what, This is. it seems uh, that this here is not triggering the other pack. Would have listened to my gut feeling. That was a stupid, stupid idea. We explode the car. That'll deal enough damage on top of the explosion. Well, that's one down at least. We need to deal with the mech. There is no way around. The mech needs to die. amount of damage but I think it's not going to be enough because we're now going to take a lot of damage yeah that's a flanking position And here we go, third pack egg road as well. Of course, by the way, the patrol just decided to move. We stunned uh, this guy. That was a pretty important hit. And by thinking about it, maybe Bradford. Uh, is carrying the whole scenario.
That's going to be a psychonic bomb. Got him down to one HP. <laughs> um, we better find a way to get him out of uh, the Viper. Moving as ordered. Moving into half cover. Let's try to shoot the Viper. It's maybe a crit. We do not have any form of healing. Four to six, well. here. Let's kill the guy back there. The one that flanked us. Come on, buddy. Mm, unfortunate. Redford is reloading. Despite our best efforts, we need to risk attacking this guy. There we go. Hopefully, they will follow Bradford. Oh, we are also uh, being uh, we're also being disoriented. That's just beautiful. Luckily, there is no stun answer. Huh? Moving back and hunker down. Try to get the stun answer. Of course. At least we damaged him far enough so that the psi, uh, that the psi bomb could actually kill it. This guy here took uh, one of the few flanking positions, uh, which is good. I need a more subtle position. I don't like being shot. Yeah, we're going to take wounded soldiers here. There is no way around it. Interesting, so if we kill this guy, also all of the shields will go down. So close. Back into shadow form.
This is an open position, but I want to have a flanking shot onto this guy. Which the earliest one could be here, or here, or here. It is risky to let someone stand in the open, but we need to deal as much damage as possible. And vector rifles tend to crit way better if you're in the open, so we could deal almost 11 points of damage if it's a good crit. Of course, it's, it's, if it's not a crit, then it's not going to work out. This here hopefully is going to kill him. Shit, it's not. The power source they're using to charge that gun is different than anything I've ever seen. We could be looking at the very latest and greatest in Advent Tech. It's almost a shame to blow it up. But I do have an idea. Lily just needs to be able to see him, which I think this here should be fine. Combat protocol, unless he is sustenancing, which would be bad. If he dies, yeah, he dies. Perfect. I was about to say, if he doesn't have sustenance, we kill two enemies with one hit, and all of the shields are removed. Moving to here. Nice little hit with tail and rounds. Might be able to pull off yet another one. Yeah, but well it's a, it's going to be a crit, but it needs to be a max damage crit. Well, it is a max damage crit. Still got momentum. And I wish we could move somewhere. Problem is, we need as much cover as possible. We have one hit point. Yeah, so this is the only place where we have enough cover. Very dangerous to move into that direction. I don't know if there is yet another pack. Unlikely, but it could happen. Double movement, and this guy is going to take a shot. Lucky us. That's revealing us. It's going to kill him and we're left with only one enemy. I'm on it. 74% chance. I don't want to take any chances here. Moving over here. We cleared the area. All we had to do now was plant the bomb. Running. Well, that was an interesting mission. I wanted to flawless it, but I guess. 
I kind of fucked up the pull. Or maybe it is just designed to fight 5 versus 12. That's an option as well, of course. Lucky for us that we made it out without any casualties. We planted the bomb on Advent's cannon. Now we just needed to get clear before the fireworks. In short order. All right, let's move out. As you direct. One, two. Three and four. Get it done. Plus Bradford, of course. Oh boy, what a close mission. On your order. Let's go. Heading home. This day is done. Time for me to go. Heading home. So yeah, I I said if we can reach a hundred thousand, that would be a good result, and we'll reach exactly a hundred thousand. Yeah, just an excellent, not a flawless one. But given the tools that we had at hand, I think it was almost impossible to to go for a flawless one. Um, at least not with the way that the, uh, the enemies were positioned. Probably could have done it better if uh, I would have used the Claymore and used the Claymore to explode the car. So Claymore plus a Grenade to explode the car. We had um, a Reaper Ranger, could have uh, snuck it up close enough to at least throw the grenade. Claymore plus the Grenade Toss would definitely explode the car, so probably three of the enemies would have died by that because it's Claymore 5, Grenade 3 to 4, then car explosion is 6 to 8 depending on the car, so at least the, uh, the enemies around the car would have been uh, down. That explosion took out most of what Advent brought with them. So either we are getting the advanced versions. Um, no, actually we're definitely not going to replace ammunition with these items. That would be a stupid fuck up. So let's get the improved um, PCSs. Let's see, we got Run and Gun, which is a good ability, thanks Bradford this time for having it. We got um, Needle plus Silent Killer. Silent Killer is actually pretty good because it allows us to stay concealed and finish off enemies. Uh, channel is okay. Capacitator Discharge is very good. I don't know why uh, Lily is always getting the, the Capstone ability that early, but it's actually a good ability. She could also, by the way, just get a fucking heal uh, med kit, but apparently that's just not her preference. So yeah, that was number uh, run uh, on mission number three of the Lazarus project. Let's see. It wasn't until later we found out who it was Advent had captured trying to blow up their cannon. 
Peter O'Say and his wrecking crew were one of the only groups willing to venture into the city centers. And he made quite a reputation for himself taking down high-value advent targets. As you might imagine, that also put him on a short list of resistance targets that the aliens were falling all over themselves to capture or kill. In O'Say's case, he was finally rounded up during the convoy raid. And now he found himself imprisoned in the heart of the city. Squad concealment active. Okay, I wonder what kind of class he is. associate with the resistance had heard of Ose in those days, especially in the cities. It would have been a huge blow to morale if we had let Advent execute. Classic XCOM extraction, we're looking at almost 70,000 points, so 69,000 points. Not bad if we could get out with, let's say, 55, 150,000. Uh, that would be a pretty decent mission. But that's going to happen the next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next mission.